Hi guys and welcome to this second tutorial on how to create a trust family. So in the previous tutorial I showed you how to set up the reference plans and lines and also how to add the different parameters. And now we're actually ready to add the geometry around these um, reference lines and plans. But first I just want to turn off the level and to do this I can go to the view ribbon and select visibility and graphics and then select annotation categories and unmarked levels say apply and ok and now I just want to extend this reference line so I'll just select it and then I can drag it and then just hit escape and also I just want to check because I forgot to lock the slope of uh, the trusses so I'll just select the dimension and then lock it and let me just do the same on the other side or oh, this one has been locked so now I'm actually ready to add the geometry and to do this I will go to the create ribbon select extrusion and I will start by um, making the bottom chord which we have here so I will select pick lines and then I can se select the reference plans and I want to lock it and select the reference plan which is the top of the bottom chord and also select the edges and lock it and now I can use the trim tool so I will select the trim tool and then I can trim the lines Now let me do it again so here we go and now I can just accept it so now I just want to um, test if it's actually working so again go to the family types and let's just try to um, change the height to 200 say apply and it's working well so I'll just set it back to 150 apply and ok and now I just want to open for example the left elevation and this right here is the thickness of the truss so I just want to add a dimension so I'm able to control the thickness of the truss so again select the dimension and then select the dimension and we want to add a parameter and this parameter we could call truss thickness say apply and we want to lock it to the parameter then just test to see if it's working let's try with 50 millimeters it's working well so just say ok and go back to the front elevation and now we can continue with adding the top chord so again go to the create ribbon select extrusion and we want to select pick lines and then just select the line and then I can just select the line where I have to draw I'll just draw on the center line and I want to lock it to the center line and also I want to lock it to the reference plans which is the edge of the truss and then I can select the um, pick lines and I can make an offset let's put the offset to let's try 100 and then select this line and then again we can use the trim tool to trim the lines and now I just want to add a dimension so I'm able to control the thickness of the top chord so again select the dimension select the dimension and also we want to add a parameter and this parameter we could call top chord thickness say apply and we want to lock it to the parameter and also we want to test to see if it's working try with 150 it's working well 
and also I want to try to change the slope of the roof and see if it's uh, following along. So if I type in, for example, 45 degrees, say apply, and it seems like it's working well, but let me just zoom out. And let me just try with 20 degrees and then 25. So it's working well, so I'll just say apply and OK. And then I will accept this. And I will do the same on the other side. So again, go to the Create ribbon, select Extrusion, and I want to select Pick Lines. And just do the same as before. And now use the trim tool to trim all of the lines. And add a dimension so we are able to control the thickness. And let's just try to test it to see if it's working. So it's working well, so we will just say OK to this, and we want to accept it. And now the next thing is to add the geometry around the web of the, um, of the trusses. So again, go to the Create ribbon and select Extrusion, and pick lines, and we can type in an offset, for example 50. And also I want to just change the offset to zero and then I can select this line right here and I want to lock it to this. And also I want to select this reference plan and lock it to this one and also the one in the bottom. And then I can use the trim tool. And I want to add a dimension. First I will add one so I'm able to um, to place the geometry around the center line. So I will just place it like this and click on IQ. And then I want to add an overall dimension for the thickness. Select this dimension and add a parameter. And this parameter we could call Web thickness, say OK to this, and we want to lock it to this parameter, and also we want to test to see if it's working. Seems it's working well, but also I want to test to see if it's working when I change the slope. Seems like it's working well, so I'll just Set it back to 25 degrees, apply, and let me just change the thickness to 100. Say OK, and also I want to accept this. So now I will do the same with the other webs. So again, go to the Create ribbon, select Extrusion, and then I want to select Pick Lines, and I want to have an offset. And again, I will add the dimension. First, the ones I'm able to control that they will, that the web will be placed around the center line, 
and then the overall dimension. Then add the parameter, we have the web thickness. And again we want to test to see if it's working. It seems like it's working well and also I want to test to see if it's working when I change the slope and it also seems like that it's working well. So I'll just set it back to 25 degrees, say apply and OK and then I want to accept it. And I will just do the same on the other side. So now I have just added the last of the geometry and I just want to test it one last time. So I will go to the family types and let me change the thickness of the web to 100. And everything is following along and also I just want to test the slope. And it seems like everything is working well so I will put it back to 25 degrees, hit apply and OK. And now I just want to open the 3D view. And earlier we changed the thickness of the bottom cord, and now we just want to change the thickness of um, the other elements. So to do this I can use the Align tool, and make sure that you have marked that you want to make multiple alignment. Then first we will change or select the, um, the back side of the bottom cord, and then select one of the other elements and make sure that you lock it and then select the rest of the elements and always make sure that you lock it. So here we go. So now we have a 3D truss and I just want to save it and now I'm ready to load it into a project. So I can either load it if I go or select load into project or I can open my project. So now I'm at the, um, the roof level and then to load the, the truss into this project I can go to the structure ribbon, select beam and here I will in properties I will click on edit type and I want to load in a new family and now I just want to select the family that I have just created. And make sure that you mark the family with the full name and don't select one of the families with a number afterwards because these are backup files and you want to make sure that you select the actual family. So we will select the trust family and say open and then OK to this and let me just cancel this and now if I click in properties I now have the trust family and we can see the truss is actually too small and also it's spanning in the wrong direction so to change the direction where it's spanning I can just use um, the space key then it will flip with the 90 degrees so I'll just place it here and hit escape. And now to change the, the dimension of the truss, I can just select it and click on edit type. And in here I can change the bottom cord span. And I think this one has a span of 11,500. So I'll click on apply and OK. And now I can just move it to the right location so it will be something like this but let me just change or check the 3d view now we can see that we have a 3d truss and I might want to modify the location of it but um, this is the principle of how you can um, create a truss family and also how to load it into a project 